Nintendo Switch Angel. Sort of. Well, right now I just need to uh, download the new monthly game. But we're not here to talk about the PS4. We're here to talk about the Nintendo Switch. The Nintendo Switch, isn't it a beautiful piece of machine? You know what? There's so many things I can talk about the Nintendo Switch. Wow, the Nintendo Switch, man, again, what a machine. The smallest console in the world, I think. And that's what got my attention. I love gaming, I do, I really do. It's probably why me and my partner actually get on very well. A lot of these games were gifts from each other. Birthday, Christmas, Valentine's Day, just for the sake of it, which is the best. Like this one, Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu. Remember that's when uh, me and my girlfriend started going out. The reason why I probably got this as well was because I used to play Pokemon Go and then you could um, you could transfer them. That's what I really liked about it. And then I um, got the Pokeball. This Pokeball links to Pokemon Go and then you can just uh, use it as one of those walking things with it and it automatically does it for you. It's really neat. And you could use it as a controller for your Nintendo Switch on the Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu game. So I've got this version and Rachel has the Eevee version. Yeah. And uh, the Pokeball is uh, pretty cool. Pretty good. And I did that start of our relationship those days. Yeah, so that's that. Uh, kept playing it, kept playing it and playing it. But I didn't get as far as Rachel did. I probably got up to where you can start transferring. I was thinking to give it another go. We'll let time decide that, right? But yeah. When I first got the Nintendo Switch, this was one of my first games I picked up. And that was Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. And you know what? I don't actually like this. Really good. Yeah, I used to play it with Rachel. Oh, yeah. Which one is it? Um, Mario Kart 8. <gasps> when we were together. Yeah, I play that in Costa a lot. There's a lot of things why I got a Switch as well. A lot of it actually brung me and Rachel together. Yeah, sorry, Rachel stood there. <laughs> yeah, she. Hi! Yeah. So basically, yeah, we used to play together with that when we were first dating, like two years ago, three years ago. Two years ago. Two bloody years ago! So that was Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. I do really like it. It's good. It's good. It's good. Because you always win. I do win a lot on that, to be honest. I don't know, I just like uh, kind of kart games, and it's like reminds me of CTR. Oh, you want to play the Oculus? Yeah, I do. There you go. So Mario Kart. Yes, games is such a magical thing, isn't it? Just how games can bring a connection. Just like me and Rachel. It's a beautiful thing. Games can just literally take you anywhere, can't they? they take you to a whole new world. Which other game? Which other game? Zelda. The Legends of Zelda. This was a really good game when I got it. Um, I was blown away, to be honest, at the graphics of this small device. Yeah, I was really over the moon when I got it. The, the map. Oh my god, the map is huge! Um, but the thing is, I've not played all of it. And I'll, I'll tell you now, it's hard. For me anyway. I was trying to do it, I did give up in time. Just need to be able to learn to complete a game. A lot of people do like this game. Go on. Super Mario Odyssey. That's a good game as well. But I didn't finish that. There's probably, sorry, there's probably loads of games here that I've not finished. But this was a clever game. And I enjoyed this. Very different towards the um, 2D kind of platformers. I still need to play some of this and just need to finish it off. Like I say, I found it tough to just finish it all off. Maybe sometime I can. Hopefully. I do really like it. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh jeez. Yeah. Yeah, we've got two. <laughs> Rachel bought it and I bought it. But yeah, Crash, what a game. The reason why I did buy that Crash is because it's a nostalgia, isn't it? It did actually give me those feelings back. Um, but enhanced graphics. I was contemplating on getting the PS4 version because the whole enhanced graphics on the PS4 Pro, which kind of got my attention. But then I thought about the Switch and the portability of the Switch and how I used to go everywhere and how I used to bring my Switch to Rachel's house and I could just play it anywhere. And that's the freedom of the Switch. It's brilliant. And held, put it in a dock and play it on your TV via your HDMI cable. And that was, oh, I don't know, it's so cool. Just the Switch in general, it's, it's good. I really enjoy it. Yeah, going back to Crash, you literally get three games in one. 
that's not bad as well. The price was really good, about £30, something like that. Depends, obviously, if you get it digitally or if you get it physically. But at the time, I was thinking I'd rather have games physically because then if I don't have a game that Rachel has, for example, this one here, I'd like to buy it for a birthday, Christmas, and I can go on it. So it's always a win-win situation, isn't it? Same with this one. I bought this one, uh, Rachel, and um, I really like this one. It's really good. But this is the, the gold edition. I wanted to just pay it extra because, um, you know, money's not an issue. If you're going to get enjoyment out of it, just, just go for it. Just do it. And the gold edition is with Donkey Kong in it. Join forces with Donkey Kong and his crew in a brand new world and discover lots of new weapons and challenges. Unfortunately, it came with a code. But you can only use it once. Rachel's already used that, so I can't use it for my Switch. So I play it on her Switch instead of mine, so I can get the Gold Edition. Yeah, it's such an entertainment game. If you was on the fence of wanting this, I do recommend it. And then go into this one, Super Mario Maker 2. Yeah, it was kind of cool. I've not, I've not played this as much as Rachel has, but I have seen people play it on YouTube, and it's just really entertaining. You know, the good thing about this as well is you can go on people's created levels. That's what makes this continuous sparse things up and then you can just like challenge for example like if i create a level i can challenge someone to play my level that i just created i've watched a lot of people stream this and it's, it's hilarious it just reminds me of super meat boy as well some levels people create it's insane probably what i like about this is just the creation the level editor it also has different mario series so well done nintendo oh it's here it's here found it Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe! Up to four players. I've not really played it four players though, because I don't have many friends. I'd love to start streaming some of these games. For that, I think I need a video card of some sort. I would like to know how I can do it. And I've probably got to save up for something like that. Yeah, so many games I can talk about, absolutely. Taco, bloody drums. You know, that'd be good to get the actual drums for that. You know, Rachel, I'd love that. Maybe I could in the future. You know, I actually went to an arcade one time and they had a massive machine of one of these and I was just like... Anyway, I was just bashing it and it, oh, I don't know, it was so cool, it was so good! I really wanted Rachel to be there but I went there with my friend but yeah, it was so cool! I haven't really played it as much, only played it co-op with Rachel but she's played it single player. Got another Pokemon game, I treated us both so I've got Shield, which is mine, and got Sword, which is Rachel's. Thought I'd try them out. I've not played too much of it, to be honest. It's good and all, but I've not given it time. I've just been doing other things. Super Smash Bros. You know, if you've got a Switch, you know, this is the game that everyone would want. It's got all the, all the characters of Nintendo. Yeah, so that was entertaining. I was playing that for a long time. Also, an online thing you can do, just like Super Mario Maker 2. And that was, that was entertaining. People can just create their own level. Yeah, that's what I enjoy about these Nintendo Switch games. The ones that you can just make something new out of it. You know, online games like that. Oh yeah, speaking about this, I've just seen what a game I've got as well. On oh, my digital downloads. Can't show you that because I don't have the physical thing. Um, Splatoon 2. I heard there's a Splatoon 3 coming out. Don't know if it's out yet. Is it out yet? No. I don't know. But anyway, I've got Splatoon 2. And me and me actually used to play that as well online. That was good. That was when we just started um, dating as well. We kind of encourage each other to get something. If it's co-op, I'd buy it and then she'd buy it and then we can play together. Because we're in love. So a recent one we've just got is uh, Super Mario 3D All-Stars. I kind of wanted this because apparently it's going to be ended in... I think it's now actually. You can't buy it. You won't be able to download it ever again. And I'm sure people will have physical it, but they'll put the prices up. It's an investment, I'll tell you that. The reason why I bought this is one, it's Mario. I do like Mario. Number two, it's an investment. But yeah, um, so that'll be entertaining once I've uh, started playing it. Yeah, I just need a streaming device for my Switch so I can um, play it all. The life will be completed. And then Rachel's got some as well, which I can't really talk about because I've not played it. Um, I bought her this Fire Emblem, Fire Emblem Three Houses. Um, I've not seen it, so I can't really talk about that. Luigi's Mansion 3, it looked good when I watched Rachel on it, but I've not played it, so I can't really talk about it now. L.A. Noir, can't talk about that one. Dragon Quest Builders 2, I bought that Rachel. It looked pretty cool, you know, kind of like a Minecraft kind of thing, but more story based, so I can't talk about that, but yeah, I've seen it, it looks pretty cool. Same with this one. Yoshi's Crafted World, I'm not giving that gorgeous yet. 
dead cell. So I was going to get that digitally, but I thought I might as well use my um, store credit to buy it. I've not played that as much as I should be doing. This one as well looks cool as well. I bought that with H1. The ring fit, which comes with this. I have enjoyed it. You know, you gotta, you got to like jog, like run to your destination. That's on the adventure mode, of course. You know, that's when you like trying to get through levels and defeat computer. I don't know, there's a lot of things. You should just have a look at it. It's really good. I like it. It's really good for fitness. I must say, you know, especially cardio. So, Wing Fit Adventure. Um, and then, of course, we've got the new games that I bought today. Um, that one there, which I'm not too bothered about. And then, obviously, this one. New Super Lucky's Tale. I liked this one. I've not played it yet. Have you played this before? Because you can get it on Xbox Pass. Has anyone else played this before? Let me know. I'd like to know, down in the comments, what is your favourite game? Let's have a look what else games have got. Oh yeah, Skyrim. I've got Animal Crossing as well. I didn't talk about that. It's like one of the popular games out there, isn't it? Yeah, so Animal Crossing. We can see that because, you know, Animal Crossing. Lovely. NBA 2020, 51 worldwide games. Steam World Heist Ultimate Edition. Legos The Incredibles. Rayman Legends. Yeah, so yeah, that's the uh, Nintendo Switch. Yeah, if there's anything you guys would like me to uh, do for the next video, let me know. Yeah, this is probably a completely different kind of thing that I do, but I'm giving it a go. I enjoyed it, and hopefully I can play more of these games. Yeah, guys, if you've enjoyed this video, please do give me a like, and if you're new around here, feel free to subscribe. So anyway, guys, I'll see ya in the next video.